Welcome to Jeremax Eastern. I am the Executive Vice President of Sound Flesh, Mr. Don Bronchitis, and with me a special guest, very impressive talent, number one contender, King Icorn. How are you doing? Uh, you know, I don't know how I got roped into doing this. Well, so slag! You want to see slag, as you told me? Uh, I, yeah, I guess I do. He's gonna compete right now! Well... Uh, I thought that I was doing this duel or something. I can't... No, Dawn! My name is Dawn! Uh, well, here comes a very pleasant deal I scouted! It's the Nipple Taker! You know, where do you find these people? On the internet! I saw him on YouTube. I was very intrigued by his name. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't get you at all. You don't have to. I'm, I need chicken fries, bread, and down inflation. Here comes Black Friday. Of course. You don't like Black Friday? Everybody is Black Friday. I, I'm indifferent to Black Friday. Oh. Can you dig it? Sunday? And you know. I was watching. I was actually watching the last episode of Eastern, and when this guy came out, I, I don't, I don't know what to say. It's the Bukaki man. He's a yes, superhero, and we don't know who he is. Well, you know his identity is very well hidden, if you ask me. Yeah, I damn well better keep it a secret. Oh uh, yeah. Is this my boy? This is your man, Slag. Oh uh, yeah. Slack came so close to winning the title from Bludgeon, I'd say he's got a better shot in this match of taking the vacant title. Bludgeon, of course, gonna fight later for a roster rock challenge, but right now, here we go! You know what I mean? It's no surprise here, I'm gonna be rooting for Slag, but I think um, no matter who wins this match, it's gonna be. Uh, it's, it'll be definitely somebody who deserves to, to hold the championship. Especially the Nipple Taker! Uh, whatever you say. Well, his power, his power comes from his nipples, and those are hard to, to target. Uh, oh, wait a wait, minute! Black Friday's holding a sledgehammer. He must have got that on sale! <laughs> Why do you try to make jokes? Because if I don't, people won't keep watching. They watch Eastern for me, not for the very impressive talents. Nice double suplex to Black Friday. Oh no! Oh, wait, that's a barbed wire two by four. It looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's extreme. Reversal. Meanwhile, your slag is getting his ass kicked. Well, Black Friday is a very strong opponent, and so these are two of the like, the two strongest guys in the match. The two biggest guys are, are facing off against each other. Well, you can't count out the Bukaki, man! Look at that beautiful pile driver! I mean, the thing about the Bukaki man is that he's... We don't know who he is, so he's... His... I know, it's a complete <laughs> mystery! Oh, man, he just... Took out the Nipple Taker with the weapon what? he introduced into the match! And he busted him open! But Nipple Taker, that just seemed to piss him off! As Slag gets thrown out of the ring! Of course, because this is a... Because this is... Uh... I don't, I don't know, I guess... There must be a winner! Is there, and there's no there's no uh, disqualifications, as you can see. False count anywhere, anything goes! Oh, and there's that swinging neckbreaker under the thin padding on the outside. Slag, meanwhile... What's he planning here? Oh, my! Full away slam! Oh, my goodness, so much action. And you see Bukaki Man throws the sledgehammer as he hits the nipple taker with it. I think Mukaki Man's in the zone. He's going after Nipple Taker. Meanwhile, Slag is just having his way with Black Friday. He's called for the end. And, oh, Nipple Taker's got a steel chair. So much happening. I don't know what to. Oh, and Slag nails him. Wait, what is Mukaki Man? Oh my goodness! Oh, and Black Friday's eliminated. We could have our second elimination immediately. Oh. And there it is! Well, clearly you were right about Slag! Slag and Bukaki in the final two. One of these men will be the light heavyweight champion. I mean, they just took down Black Friday and Nipple Taker one after the other with their finishing moves. And you can see Bukaki Man's going for that corkscrew oh. elbow, but. Oh, low blow to Slag. Slag now! 
Whoa. Look at the Nailed strength! It. Underestimating the strength of Bukaki Man. Well, nice counter. You have to underestimate somebody who you don't know who it is. I mean, you have to be prepared for any whatever comes your way. Meanwhile, that chair that Nipple Taker introduced still in the ring. And now we see Black Friday and Nipple Taker oh. on the outside fighting. Well, they gotta take their frustrations out on something. And Slag's still able to defend that against that spinning elbow. Oh! Oh! Wow! What a that huge spine! That was a slag buster. Oh, well, there you go. That okay? Oh, and there's the slag hug. Is he gonna tap? No. No. You know? Oh wow! The power of slag. Slag is is very strong. Bukaki no man, he keeps going for that spinning forearm. And oh wow, nice. That's gonna nice. cost him the match. I mean, he's gotta figure out something other than that move. You see there, he just runs right into Slag. He's doing it to his... protect his identity. He wants to throw him off the trail of who he really is. Oh! Finally hits a successful move with that back body drop. I think Slag nailed his ankle on that chair. Oh, wait a minute! Wait, what's this? Oh! Right on the chair! The Bukaki end! Uh oh. Two, two, oh! Oh! Slag! There you go, the resilience of Slag! Well, you weren't happy about that, but I think Bukaki Man's gonna end it right there! Oh! Come on! I mean, he kicked out of the Bukaki end, but we have a new light heavyweight champ! Oh no! Oh, there it is again! That damn Slag! Oh, look at that! Slag with the counter! No! But he's taking too much damage from that chair! Slag obviously resilient, hardening after his battles with Bludgeon! He's. Slag throwing him to the outside! Easily the toughest in the match! He's trying to catch a breath, he's gonna throw him out again! He needs to recover! But Bukaki is not letting him! And a textbook suplex from Slag. This could be the opportunity Slag needs. What is Bukaki Man doing? He's going high risk. Oh, it worked! The dub the dreaded double axe handle from Bukaki Man. That's a Bukaki Man classic! Oh wait a minute! Once again! The Bukaki end! I don't think Slag can kick out of a second. No! We have uh, a new light heavyweight champion! The Bukaki Man! And I gotta tell you, I did not expect him to win. I was I was heavily in the favor of Slag winning. I thought he was the favorite in this and match. He can't take anything away from Slag. He kicked out of the first Bukaki and kicked out of a chair shot to the face. But it just wasn't enough. I mean, Buk Bukaki Man clearly wanted this more. And we have a new superhero for our... Light Heavyweight Champion! It's gonna be great! And I guess the question on everybody's mind is, who is the Bukaki Man? Nobody knows! But we know who this is! Well, this is the theme of Bludgeon, who, as you mentioned before, is getting his, uh, you know, his opportunity tonight to be a part of the, the main roster of Jeremax. Of course, uh, nobody knows if he can talk or not, so Frollo arranged for this match! You got the guy? He's going to be taking on Eleven Sai. I don't think it's very fair to Eleven Sai. He's going to tag on the match. It was. He needs to prepare. For I mean, it's not. It's not fair to anybody that you put in the in the ring with uh, Bludgeon. But you know, Eleven Sai can surprise us. Eleven Sai has been undefeated since he came back. I mean, you can clear, there's a clear size difference between these two, and Bludgeon doesn't seem to be uh, intimidated in the least. Oh, the whoa, whoa. oh my, the strength. You know, he's not that tall, but his presence is as if he himself is a monster. Oh, he couldn't do it twice, though. Yeah, that'll fuck up your back. I don't know. Yeah, you see, he's, he's, he's got to go for something else here. What else can you do against Bludgeon? I mean, he's got to use his speed. Clearly, as the smaller of the two, he's got to have a speed advantage. Eleven Sai now throws him over into the steps. 
I guess he's using the uh, the strategy of a count out victory. That's still, if Legend loses via count out, then he will not join the rosters. As far as I'm, I'm aware, you know more than anyone else. A count out win is still a win. And Bludgeon barely oh. makes it in. He comes in at the nine count now. Reversal. I re nope. Oh, and look at that. Inside clearly has more experience than Bludgeon. He has a lot of experience. Uh, as he, he did train a lot in Japan. You know, former Terry Max star. I hired him back. Now he's a, a captain. Oh, oh wait, is it no? See, the size of Bludgeon still oh, wait a minute. his favor. Oh, look at that. he was going for a, like a choke slam, but he grabbed his face. Bludgeon try surprisingly has been in control of his match. He's going to the outside again. I love it. needs to end this as quickly as possible. The longer this match goes, oh, oh wait. Another counter from 11 side, but I was going to say, the longer it goes, the longer... It's oh, going wow. for that strategy again, but no, Bludgeon's up already this time. But the longer this match goes, the the better of a chance Bludgeon has of winning. The longer this match goes, the more 11 side's back is going to get messed up if he keeps going for slams. Like that! Oh, and he's going to go for another one! But he gets this though! Eventually that's going to have to weaken Bludgeon! I would assume. I mean, he's not hes not used to being oh! powered to the point where... It's, whoa! Beautiful big boot to, by 11 Psy. I know this is slightly not have to do with the match, but you gotta think the new Spotlight is watching this in fear of how well 11 Psy's manhandling Bludgeon. I mean, if 11 Psy is able to keep Bludgeon out of Jeremax by winning this match, then he's a dangerous target no matter who you are. Uh -oh. Why? He did Again? Another time. Eleven size calling for the end. Picks him up with no problem that time. Picks him up for a suplex. Wait a minute! Oh! It's that. I believe that's the move. The side bomb. The side bomb. And he's gonna go for it again. And again. Legend is just being man. I can't believe it. This will be the upset. This will be the upset, biggest upset in Jeremy's history if Eleven Side were to pull Eleven Side is smart enough to realize that even two side bombs not enough to take down Bludgeon, so he didn't even bother for the pin. He's been able to use his quickness, as he said, to just wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, wow! He catches his boot in the air. What a counter from Bludgeon! They might have turned this thing around. And it might air with the setup! That counter is about to change everything! And we know what the setup is. Oh, Whoa! Eleven side! He was gonna go for the. Oh! He was gonna wow! Go. Oh, wow! Holy! Eleven side smart enough to scout Bludgeon Nose! He goes for. Wait! Wait! Death oh, no! Another bad decision by Eleven side. Oh! That's gonna, yep, that's gonna put him in the death by bludgeoning. Oh. Well, I think we have ourselves a new Jeremac superstar. We seem to get a lot of those in recent shows. And to know, I mean, I'm not surprised that Bludgeon won, but what I'm surprised with is how much of a fight Eleven Side gave him. But like I said, the longer this match went, the more it gave Bludgeon the chance to uh, take that one opportunity to get the victory, and that's exactly what he Eleven did Side here. was very impressive, and I don't mean to say that as a gag. He was really impressive. If he had gotten that count out, as he tried too many times, Bludgeon would be stuck in Eastern. Of course, coming up next, our big show, Ooze, you're gonna be there. I'm gonna be in the I main might be event. there too. That's right. Plus, we got a pre-show coming up with you and Bubba. You're just everywhere to these days. Man, I'm a busy well, man. Well, good luck in your match. I'm gonna go and this Tom Brock guy saying live your life like a very impressive talent. Bye.